All right, to present our next award, please welcome Senior Vice President of Development for Concord Pacific, Peter Webb. Uh, this award in the category of medical honors that person whose life is changed forever as they fight to live fully and completely in the face of a debilitating medical condition. That was the scariest moment of my life. Doctors say I have two months to leave. That's a big shock for me. I didn't know what to do. What are you going to do in two months? Eh? It's not much. When he told his family he was gay, they no longer wanted to know him. He moved from Montreal to Vancouver and started a janitorial business. Soon he had clients and employees, and life was everything he could have wanted. Except he didn't have his family. And with the approach of the new millennium, he decided to try a fresh start with them. Just after Christmas, he hit the road, and all went well until he was 30 kilometers from home. 30 kilometers from rest and food, when he fell asleep at the wheel of his car. And suddenly, his life was never going to be the same. The life of Stefan Scott. Stefan was in a medically induced coma for two months. When he woke up, he could not walk, he could not talk. Because he was in hospital, his business ended. His family did not know he had intended to come and see them, so they did not know about the accident, or that he was in hospital with broken bones and a serious head injury. His physical injuries would heal, but it would take months of physio and retraining before he could feed himself or walk or talk. He was determined to make it happen, to become whole again, and step by agonizing step, he worked his way towards full use of all his faculties. But there was also bad news. Through all the blood work the hospital had done, they found out that Stefan was HIV positive, and in 2000, HIV was a death sentence. Stefan was determined to regain his old life, determined to live large, have fun, and enjoy himself while he could. As his rehabilitation began to show success, he found the money for a ski weekend in Vancouver. Good physical exercise in a beautiful location, a chance to collect himself and think about his future. But while snowboarding, Stefan went over a cliff. He landed badly and his leg was almost severed. His hips were shattered. He had a significant head injury. He would be in hospital for another two years. What was worse, once again, he had to learn to walk and eat and dress himself and speak all over again. For most of us, this would have been too much, more than we could handle. For Stefan, it was just one more bridge to cross. And he did, little by little, regaining full use of his body until he started having headaches and his life changed again. In 2004, Stefan went to see a doctor about his headaches. Scans were taken of his brain, and he was told the diagnosis. He had a tumor, brain cancer. He was told he had two months to live. At the time, his HIV was under control. He had suffered two major traumas and recovered, and now he was given a death sentence. His money had run out, and he was living on the street. He began experimenting with drugs. After all, with only two months to live, what else was there? And this is where the courage of Stefan really shines through. You see, in this very low period, Stefan found Rainbow Church, a spiritual community for the LGBTQ community. And here Stefan found acceptance and love, and the courage to beat the cancer, to fight his addictions. He also found Megaphone magazine. This is a community of people experiencing homelessness and poverty that supports itself by selling magazines on the streets of Vancouver. Soon he was selling magazines on the corner of Davy and Thurlow, and his life changed once more. Today, Stefan is a cherished member of the Megaphone community. He was on the advisory board and contributes to the magazine through writing and award-winning photography. And twice a week, he sells magazines on his street corner. He is famous for telling his customers don't give up, do your best ever day. He was able to get financial assistance and housing, and with housing came stability. He went back to school taking animation courses at Capilano University. He found coast mental health and began volunteering, and soon he was a vital part of their community. Today he has completed courses and works as a peer support worker. Here's what Coast had to say about Stefan. 
He treats everyone he meets with dignity and respect, and he has never allowed setbacks to prevent him from attaining his goals. People like to engage with Stefan because he truly listens and cares about the welfare and concerns of those around him. Best of all, love entered Stefan's life when he found Adam. And today, their days are filled with joy. And by speaking openly of his relationship with Adam, Stefan offers hope to the LGBTQ community. Hope for a more tolerant society. You choose to be um, in pain and suffering and or just forget about it, keep yourself busy, be positive. Stefan Scott is a role model for all of us. A man whose tolerance and compassion changes the world every day. A man whose strength and joy shine through every moment. A man with the courage to come back. So ladies and gentlemen, the 2017 award in the category of medical, Stefan Scott. Good evening and thank you to everyone here. Thank you for all the courage to come back a word. My first language is French, so sorry if I'm being uh, nervous tonight because uh, when your first language is French, now I have to translate everything in English, it's a little bit hard. But I'll try to be clearly and speak my message. You must always look for the positive. Thank you for all the people who nominate me tonight. How the course members, and I will say ITR because she's been all the way to the beginning to support. And also uh, the award support my life like my partner Adam, who is here. And also Kimberly was my good customer. And also John. I'm really pleased and say thanks to all of them to support me all year. Thank you. Having people who are positive, who help you to be positive can change your life. I uh, have those people in my life and I'm so happy to find kind and positive people. It's hard sometimes. For instance, when I was moving to the downtown east side when I moved to Vancouver, I didn't know how negative it was. It was bad, everything was. I was weak, I was no purpose. I have a medical problem and I was alone. When all that happened to you, you just give up. You give in to your surrounding, they say. My mom used to say to me, tell me who you are, or tell your friend who you are, and he will tell you who you are, sorry. Um, but I was, one night, I remember I was in a, a free pizza night at Boys R Us, and someone working with the sex, with street sex worker, sorry, came to me and asked me if I want to join a course called Peer Vancouver. The course was be about getting off the street and out about the bad stuff and it will help me to be stronger. It sounds more positive than what I was doing at the time, so I went. That meaning start be on a positive way. I reconnect with Adams after 15 years, who would later become my partner. And that course, it's a positive things, I learned positive things, and life was still hard to live in a place that was very dirty and unsafe, but I moved to a different location and make change going forward. 
Then I found megaphone or water megaphone farming. Other than Adam, megaphone is the most positive things in my life. Selling megaphone and talking to people, nice people, give me the purpose to make feel good. Megaphone is great. I won the photo contest. I was on the cover of megaphone once. And I even won a megaphone award in 2014. And I published some poetry in the magazine, also the, the voice of the street called it. Uh, it's only come once a year. The thing is all positive in the month. It's because I can be led to bad addiction. I know this. So I try every day to find the positive people, the good thing, and megaphone help me to do that. The money I make to selling megaphone to support my dream to go to Strata to all the koala bear. All, all done to my dream, so I was going to Australia since I was a little kid. I used to have a stuffed animal with a koala bear. Uh, and also, the best stuff that happened, me almost take my dream away. But the positive life is making, sorry, my dream real alive again. I've been saving five years now, halfway there, I'm doing anything to make my dream come true alive and positive that is. Thank you so much for the wonderful award. This makes me so exciting and happy to have because it showed the positive and also the same to the other winner. I will want to thank to everybody here and I graduate all the other winners for Sipper. I'm very touched by the study. Thank you so much. Okay.